Welcome once again to another reading of Rhapsody of Reality, written by our man of God, Pastor Chris Oyakilome. Glory be to God. Today is November the 13th and our man of God would like to share a message entitled, Always Exercise Your Faith. The opening verse is from the book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 3, and I read, God had dealt to every man the measure of faith. Hallelujah. Observe what our opening verse says. God has given to every man the measure of faith. He's already done it. Each one of us was given the same measure of faith when we received the gospel. According to the Lord Jesus, with the smallest ounce of faith, you can do the impossible. Matthew chapter 17 verse 20 says, Verily I say unto you, If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, Ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hands to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Hallelujah! But what is faith? How does the Bible define faith? The answer is in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. It says, Now faith is the assurance, the confirmation, the title deed of the things we hope for, being the proof of things we do not see. So how does faith come? It is true the word. Romans chapter 10 verse 17 says, So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Hallelujah! The Lord doesn't want you to remain at the level of small faith. He wants your faith to grow and be strong. Romans chapter 10 verse 17 tells us that faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. The emphasis on hearing, that is, the continued bombardment of your spirit with the Word of God. But the way to build your faith strong and make it effective is by exercising it, that is, acting on the Word. Your faith will be weak if you do not exercise it. Weak faith causes people to stagger, and as a result, fear grips them, and they are defeated by the crisis of life. However, The cure for weak faith is putting the word to work, acting on the word. The Bible says about Abraham in the book of Romans chapter 4 verse 20, He staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. Hallelujah! Build your faith strong by using it even in the seemingly small or simple matters of life. Exercise your faith all the time. Act on the word and build your faith strong. Glory be to God. My brothers and sisters, wherever you are, kindly raise your hand and take this prayer right after me. Dear Father, I thank you for your word that builds my faith and causes me to see the invisible and do the impossible. By faith in the word, I consciously take advantage of my inheritance in Christ walking in the fullness of the blessing of the gospel. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hallelujah. Now, my brothers and sisters, it is important that you do take time to study and meditate on these following scriptures so that you would understand today's message even better. From the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verses 1 to 3, the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 6, and also from the book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verses 38 to 39. Glory be to God. Thank you so much for tuning in. God bless you.
you've never received salvation, if you've never received Christ into your heart, if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about, this is your moment. Say these words. Say, O oh Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I believe He died to save me. I believe God raised Him from the dead and He's alive today. I confess with my mouth, Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in Him, I receive eternal life into my heart, into my spirit. Thank you, Lord. For saving my soul. I have eternal life now. I'm a child of God now. I am born again. Thank you, Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God. Rhapsody of realities. Give me your life a meaning every day my life made perfect with rhapsody